Right, what's up, everybody? But um, today's message, what to do when Turk folk persecute you? Mm, it's actually an honor. You mean like an honor? Yeah, think about it. Matthew 5 and 11. Blessed are ye when people insult you, persecute, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Verse 12. Rejoice and celebrate because great is your reward in heaven, for in the same way they persecute the prophets before you. First Peter 4 and 14. If you are insulted for the name of Christ, you are blessed because the spirit of God and of glory rests on you. So what do you mean? So I take it as an honor. God showed me you take it as an honor because when you come into church, there's been some people that couldn't been in there for 20 years and you come in there and then they, you know, they're talking about you or they're speaking about you or gossiping or whatever. Um, and God says, you know, he wants you to pray for them. That's why I says pray for those who persecute you. You know what I'm saying? So I take it as an honor because that's a, you know, area in their life that God exposed using you. You know, a lot of times people um, ask for a blessing and then God shows them a blessing. They don't like the way it looks. So they say, Lord, help me with this problem I have with me. Lord, help me to make me better. And then God sends you in the church. And then what do they do? They look at you and they talk about you. So now that blessing came in the form of you because you can pray for them and that can be a difference, you know, but we have some people though. I heard this um, pastor, he was saying, you know, you know, some people say, you know, well, I don't, you know, I don't go to church no more because of curse folk. That's like not going to the hospital because they're sick folk. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But I mean, we don't go to church, you know, for church folk, you know, yeah, we do go to fellowship and things like that. But there are some people that you have to pray for and you can love from a distance. You know what I'm saying? You can still speak to them. Hey, how you doing? God bless. That's it. You know what I'm saying? But that's where the church is supposed to be, where people can get healed. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, they're, they're, they're you know, they're in the body of Christ and we're supposed to pray for them. Um, you know, so when we pray for them, like I said, they will continue to get better and, and God will work on them. God will continue to work on them. You know, so think about it. If you started going to, you know, church and then people are talking about you, you know, obviously God is going to bless you for that. Don't worry about that. God is going to take care of that. And in any, any way, when somebody, you know, persecutes you or anything like that, even church folk, that's because that's just to let you know that God is about to bless you. That's all that does. You know, so I'll leave you with this. James 1 and 12. Blessed is the one that per perseveres under trial because having stood the test, the person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love them. So what is that saying? You know, saying if you resist the temptation to get smart with them or cuss them out, God is going to reward you. So all you got to do is just pray for them and say, you know what? I'm going to listen to what Loki said. I'm listening to what God said. And I'm going to go ahead and continue going to church. You know, that's the problem that we have to work in the church. And tomorrow's message, I'm going to tell you about why God has handpicked your enemies. Mm. Love y'all. God bless.